In Vanuatu, there are many villages is very remote, and also the population living very scattered. For example, in Pentecost, there are one uh, health facility. There are no roads going there. The only way to go uh, to that health facility is walk around six to seven hours, crossing the island. So it's very difficult to, to deliver the vaccine or any, any other medical supplies. The project is basically to find solution. Can we use drone for delivering vaccine in remote places or last mile delivery? Wingcopter is a drone manufacturer in Germany and we came here to Vanuatu to participate in this drone trial project to deliver vaccines. The drone trial project has been initiated by UNICEF and the Ministry of Health here in Vanuatu. So since we came to Port Villa, we visited the villages, spoke to the chief, spoke to the communities and built up a relationship of trust with them understand what's going on there, understand the impact that such a system can have if it is scaled throughout the country. Delivering a vaccine is not like, like delivering other cargo or other, other supplies. You need to maintain the, the cargo within two to eight degrees all the way. To deliver the vaccines, we use a very special box. It is single-use box, and it fits the vaccines for up to 50 children that can be stored there for up to 10 hours. We actually came up with the idea that we don't need to land the drone on the requested areas. Our idea was that the drone will fly wherever a nurse requests the vaccines and will lower down a box with the vaccines in this area. As you know, globally, not only in Vanuatu, there are around 15 to 20 percent children do not have access to vaccine. So I'm hoping with this project, Vanuatu can provide a lesson or learn for other countries in the Pacific, specifically who have similar setting in terms of islands, in terms of difficulty to access, but for global as well. Other countries in the world can learn how drone can provide solution in terms of plasma delivery.